Hello everybody, Wasim here with Neoseeker and welcome to the unboxing video of the GeForce GTX 1080. Uh, this card was announced last week during the uh, launch event hosted by NVIDIA. It was streamed live, I hope we watched that. It was lots of, uh, lots of excitement and lots of fun at the same time. Uh, two cards were announced, the, this one here, the 1080 and the 1070 do, although the 1070 we don't really have much info about it. Um, I don't think I have ever seen a 1070 yet myself. However, today we're going to focus on the GeForce GTX 1080. Uh, we'll do a quick unboxing and then so we can move on to the rest of the uh, review and see the benchmarks. Alrighty, now the card comes into this little box that Nvidia started using, I think uh, starting with the GTX 980 uh, a few years back. So simple elegant design and we pull the top section up and we got the actual card itself let me just take it out of here so first thing we notice is the new design of the shroud it has more angles to it uh, it's a little bit more elaborate compared to the old style uh, you can see the titan x over there on the on the background um, yeah it looks it looks very um, industrial aggressive sporty you know it looks like a Lamborghini whatever we call it whatever you call it it is what it is that's the new design like it or not I like it myself um, you look at the back here a little bit you see the vent on the back of the card so this design is is good for small cases um, where you don't want to dump all the heat inside the case due to a different cooling solution. Uh, this is efficient, so the air comes in from here, gets out from there. The fan does a great job, as far as I can tell. And on the other side, I'll just move it around a little bit. So we got the LED, GeForce GTX LEDs logo and the SLI connectors right here and then one of the major surprises is the actual 8 pin single 8 pin power plug in there so this card is rated at 180 watts TDP doesn't need much in terms of power for, for what it is basically it's ridiculous and then on this side here we get the PCI connector, um, the other side of the shroud, nothing much. Okay, something else I want to talk about is the backplate. So the, the new backplate, if you remember with the um, 980, if I'm not mistaken, there was a little piece here that you could remove just to allow for more airflow if you had SLI. Well, with this one here, there's eight little tiny Clip screws that can be removed and this whole section on the left can be removed to allow for more airflow if you have SLI uh, very close like the cards are pretty close together other than that you can take a look at the connectivity so what do we got we have a single uh, DVI dual link plug three display ports that are actually 1.2 certified 1.3 and 1.4 ready and a single HDMI 2.0 B uh, port so basically with this card here with a single card you can have up to four displays running at a time so yeah this is the GTX 1080 the newest or the first kind of Pascal based card that we had the chance to take a look at um, in terms of specifications although we had everything on the review already but let's recap a little bit so it has uh, 2560 CUDA cores uh, the base clock is 1607 megahertz boost clock 1733 megahertz and it has 8 uh, gigs of memory actually it's a GDDR5X memory um, 
like the bus is 25, 60 bit, and the total bandwidth, technically it's 320 gigabytes. So yeah, this is the new 16 nanometer uh, manufacturing process for Pascal. That's what it used, and with the new memory, the new architecture, um, the board design, and all in all, it promises like some crazy performance compared to the previous generation, especially the <clears throat> 980 Ti, 980, and the Titan X. So yeah, that's the um, GTX 1080. Uh, I hope you liked the video, and uh, let's continue on with the benchmarks.